Yeah. Hey guys, good evening. This is Alejandro Narbona at your service on behalf of Inglés Corporativo. Hey, how's it going, guys? You had a good day? Yep. Yes. All right. Good. Um, yeah. let's, yes. I'm, I'm glad you had a good day. Take advantage of time okay? because there's a big storm coming. Okay. Wow. Yep. <laughs> so I don't know if yes. it's raining at your place, I, but I can hear. Mm -hmm. It's going to pour rain. That's an expression. It's pouring yeah. rain. It's like, está lloviendo a cántaros. Where do you live? Where do you live? Um, oh. that's, a, that's an interesting question. I don't know what to answer to that question. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I don't know what this, to answer to that question. In San Salvador. <laughs> yeah, in San Salvador. <laughs> San Salvador. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So, guys, uh, let's go ahead and recap yesterday's class. What do you remember from yesterday's class? Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> Just one. <laughs> Good evening. Good evening. So, what's up? What do you remember from yesterday's class? We don't remember. Okay. Vocabulary yes. quality. Vocabulary for, for sets. Vocabulary for success. That's right. For success. Success. Yeah. Success. What are some words that you remember? Uh, uh, fashionable. fashionable. Fashionable, correct. What else? Fashionable. Gorg gorgeous. Gorgeous. Uh -huh. Go gorgeous. Gorgeous. <laughs> Muscular. Muscular. Uh huh. Like. Clever. Which one? Which one? Clever. Clever. Uh huh. Nice. Clever. 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 Entertaining. Entertaining. Mm -hmm. Entertaining. Affordable. Affordable. Exactly. Meaning that you can afford it. Afford is a verb. It's about money and also about situations. No. You can say something like, I can afford that in my life right now. And it's not about money. It's like a situation that you don't want to have or go through. Mm -hmm. okay. All right, my friends. So let's get it started with today's topic. I'm going to go ahead and share it with you. Here it is. Please yeah. read after me. Lesson objective. Lesson objective. Lesson objective. Lesson objective. Here. Objective. Here. Objective. Objective. Uh -huh. Objective. Objective. Nice. Objective. objective. In this Lesson class, objective. participants will listen to a conversation where ways of giving reasons are used. In this class, participants will listen to a conversation where ways of giving reasons are used. Are used. To a conversation uh, are used. Will listen to a conversation where ways of giving reasons are used. Mm -hmm. Now, in this one, we are going to have uh, some vocabulary that it will be used in the grammar part that we are going to cover, okay? So let's, okay. as you know, mute your microphones and let's listen to the conversation. Okay, hold on, hold on. Think about fashionable places in your city. Listen to these people talk about the in places and the reasons they give. What's your favorite club, Ben? The Soul Club. They have fabulous music and it's never crowded, so it's easy to get in. That's funny. There's always a long wait outside my favorite club. I like it because it's always packed. Why do you think it's so popular? Well, it just opened a few months ago. Everything is brand new and modern and lots of fashionable people go there. It's called the Casablanca. Oh, right. It's the newest in place. I hear the reason people go there is just to be seen. Exactly. Do you want to go some night? I thought you'd never ask. 
Do you ever go to any of these places? Tell us why or why not. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and cover some vocabulary we have right here. And I want you to tell me if there's something new. Give me a second. Here Brand we. new and modern. Go ahead and read after me, please. What's your favorite club, Ben? What's your favorite, What's your favorite, favorite, favorite club, club Ben? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, the with this one, salt. remember? The favorite. 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 What's your favorite club, Ben? Your favorite favorite. club, ben. Mm -hmm. The Soul Club. The Soul Club. Soul club. Soul club. They have fabulous music. They, they have fabulous music. music. And it's never crowded, so it's easy to get in. And it's never and crowded. It's crowded. So it's easy, easy to get in. It's easy to get in. Uh -huh. Exactly. Um, is there any new vocabulary in this that we have covered? Fabulous? Not, not for me. Okay. Fabulous is like, like super fantastic, right? Oh, it's yeah. fabulous, fantastic. It's a synonym. Grandioso? Uh huh, like great. Great. What about crowded? Is that what you mean about crowded? A lot of people. Multitude, people. Mm -hmm. a, lot of people. a lot of people. Yes. So, crowd can be multitude. There's a crowd coming. Yeah. The place is crowded. Uh, is too, too much people. Too, yes, too wow. many people. Okay. Mm -hmm. complete, uh, complete it with me. That's funny. That's, that's funny. funny. That's funny. Here, the pronunciation. That. That's, that's funny. That's, that's funny. 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 That's funny. That's funny. There's always a long wait outside my favorite club. I like it because it's always packed. There's, There's always, always a long wait outside, 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 outside my favorite club. I like it because it's always packed. I like it because it's always packed. Nice. Here we're going to say the pronunciation of packed. Pa. Pack. Pa. Pack. 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 What is the meaning of packed? Geno. Uh -huh. Like crowded too. Crowded. Exactly. Why do you think it's so popular? What Why do you think it's so popular? Popular. 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 Mm -hmm. Popular. 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 Well, it, it just opened a few months ago. Everything is brand new and modern, and lots of fashionable people go there. It's called the Casablanca. Well, it just opened a few months ago. Everything is brand new and modern, and lots of fashionable people go there. It's called the Casablanca. All right, in this one, I wanted to pay attention to a couple of things. It just opened a few months ago. There are a lot of linking things. Everything is brand new and modern and lots of, lots of fashionable, lots of fashionable, fashionable people go there. It's called the Casablanca. These guys are just links. So, well, it, this is another one, consonant to consonant. It just opened a few months ago. Say it with me, please. It just opened it a just few opened, months just ago. Opened, uh, a few months, months ago. ago. Mm -hmm. This is one of the reasons we don't understand native speakers because they link everything. And this is consonant yeah. to yeah. consonant, consonant to vowel, etc. So one more time. Well, it just opened a few months ago. Well, well, it just, it just happened, happened a few months ago. Months ago. Months ago. Months ago. Everything is brand new and modern. Everything, Everything is brand, brand new and, and modern. modern. And lots of fa, lots of fa, lots, lots of, of fashionable, of fashionable. Fashionable. Of fashionable. Go there. Lots of fa. All right. Any new vocabulary in this one? What? What? Uh, what Brand? Oh, okay. Brand new. Brand new? Brand new. If you go to the there, for example, this is not an mm. advertising, and you buy a new car, no one has ever used it, it's zero brand. kilometers, it is brand new. 
It's a new model, but also in the condition. That means that never, no one has used it ever. It's uh, the last new. Es algo como nuevecito de paquete. De paquete. Como lo, lo último. Mm -hmm. Now, not necessarily the latest thing, because no. you can have, uh, for example, I don't know, you bought something five years ago and you want to use it now. It is still brand new because no one has used it. It's not so. necessarily the latest or the most modern thing. Brand new is completamente nuevo. Mm. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Let's continue. All right. Is the newest in place? All right. Is the newest in place? I heard the reason people go there just to be seen. I hear the reason people go there just to be seen. Mm -hmm. Just to be seen. Mm -hmm. Exactly. There are a couple. I must links, but I don't know how to The yeah. newest thing. When you have consonants, thin. normally yeah. you're going to release it here. These are held sounds. The newest in place. In place. <laughs> no. In place. What do you think is the, the meaning of in? in? Like fashionable. Fashionable. Uh huh. Like fashionable. You're in. I'm never in. I don't care about fashion. But some people is. About, yeah. about of fashionable. Mm -hmm. Here is another consonant to consonant sound. This is very interesting, guys, because you do not say just two. That's incorrect. Just two. These are called health sounds. Sonidos sostenidos. So that means that you're going to start mentioning it here and you're going to release it here. So just two. Two. Just, just to, to be seen. Just to just be just seen. Just to be seen. Correct. Just to be seen. Just, just, just to be seen. Mm -hmm. just, just to be seen. seen. Just, just to be seen. seen. Mm -hmm. Very good. Exactly. Do you want to go some night? Exactly. Exactly. Do you want to well, go some night? Some, some night? I thought you never asked. I, I thought, thought you, you never, never asked. asked. You asked. You never asked. You. You you never ask. You never ask. You never ask. You never ask. Good. Don't ask me. <laughs> but it's actually the opposite. It's like, oh my God, I have been waiting for you to ask me that question. I thought you would never ask that. Como pensé que nunca ibas a preguntar, because you are waiting for it already. Yes. So let's see, I don't know if you remember at school, there was always the guy with money that bought things during break. And sometimes you were like, oh man, that's a delicious torta. And you're looking at the torta and he tells you, do you want some? Oh man, I thought you were never asked. It's like you were expecting for that question. Is it clear? Yes. Yep, all right. So let's go ahead and move on and let's hit the grammar part just a second. <clears throat> All right, go ahead and read it with me, please. By the end of this class, participants will understand and practice giving reasons. By the end of the class, participants will understand and practice giving reasons. Using because. because. Since, since, because of, because of, of due to, due to, and why. the reason and that, the reason why, that or why, right. and the reason that, or and the why. reason that or why. All right, this topic is not difficult, but it might be confusing for some people. So please go ahead and pay attention to this uh, video. It's going to clarify a lot of doubts. As you know, go ahead and mute your mics and pay attention, please. Hello, if you want to give reasons, you may do so by using because, since, because of, and some others. Stay, and you will learn not only the meaning, but how to use them. Giving reasons. I like the Casablanca because it's always packed. 
Since it's always so packed, there's a long wait outside the club. It's popular because of the fashionable people. The Soul Club is famous for its fabulous music. Due to the crowds, the Casablanca is difficult to get into. The reason people go there is just to be seen. The reason that people go there is just to be seen. The reason why people go there is just to be seen. Give reasons we may use because, since, because of, for, due to, the reason that, the reason why, is. Let's begin with because and since. They mean the same, although since is more formal. Because and since are followed by a subject and a verb. Subject plus verb. I love the soul club because the music is great. Because or since can begin or end a sentence. When the clause is at the beginning, it is followed by a comma. Since it's packed, comma, there's a long wait. Or there is a long wait since it's packed. The clause with because or since is a subordinated one, not a main clause. Because of and due to. They mean the same, although due to often has a negative connotation. Because of and due to are followed by a noun or a noun phrase. This is my favorite club because of the great music. Because of or due to can begin a sentence. When the clause is at the beginning, it is followed by a comma. Due to the crowd, comma, it's difficult to get into. Or it's difficult to get into due to the crowds. The clause with because of or due to is a subordinated clause, not a main clause. Four. For plus noun or noun phrase. It's famous, well-known, popular for its music. The reason that, the reason why is. The reason Julie goes there is to have fun. Or the reason why Julie goes there is to have fun. You answer the following questions giving reasons. Why do you think English is so popular? Why do you think there's so much traffic in your city? Write your reasons on our discussion box. Because of. Alrighty guys, so um, what are the phrases that you can use in order for you to give reasons? Because. Mm -hmm. I think. The phrases that you can use to give reasons, to explain why. So we have because, since, since. what else? Due to. Okay. Because so, of. Mm -hmm. Because of. Because of, that's another one. Now, <clears throat> what is the meaning of because and since? Because is por qué. Por qué, por qué. Por qué. Por qué. Mm -hmm. Ya que. Mm -hmm. Since is ya que. Ya que. So, <clears throat> sorry. You can use them interchangeable. That, that means that you can use because or since and it's the same meaning. But you might want to use since in a job interview or with someone you're not too comfortable with or too, that you have no, not so much trust. Okay. And because it's supposedly to be less formal. But I would use them in the same. Now, the structure that is giving you here is actually plain and simple. You're going to use because or since followed by a sentence. That's it. So, to give you an example, you can use, I'm going to do it in red here. I study English. Because or since. And you need to provide a complete sentence. Okay? I, I study English because I want to get a better job. So with these two, 
with these two guys, what you're going to do ah, is, sí, hay que hacerlo. is um, give a reason and you have to join two sentences. Okay? Tienen que unir dos oraciones. So ponemos oración, mm -hmm. because or since, más oración. That's mm -hmm. it. Okay, teacher. Any questions with this? No, teacher. All right, give me some examples then. We are in quarantine because huh? of because the coronavirus. Mm, almost there, almost there. Because of va seguido por un noun, que es el siguiente que vamos a ver. No necesita oración. Este sí necesita oración. So let's go ahead and use that example. Um, we are under quarantine because, and we need the subject, verb, and compliment if you want. I die. I die if I get the virus. Okay. I don't want to die. You are very, you are very good in football, in, in football soccer, okay. because because you because you practice every day. Ahí está. You are good at soccer because. You practice, practice every, every day. day. Okay, so as you know, you have, you are good at soccer, subject, verb, complement, because or since, you practice or every day, subject, practice. verb, okay. complement. Yep. Okay? okay? Now, how do you say, <laughs> no te puedo escuchar porque está lloviendo? Uh, I don't hear I because hear uh, rain. Because I raining. can't right hear you. Can't hear you. Because it's raining. Because raining. It's raining. It's raining. It's raining outside. Raining. <laughs> raining outside. I, I can't hear you because the storm. Because it's raining. It's my town. Because it's Correct. raining. Because it's raining. Oh. Um, give me another example. As you can see, is now with since. Uh, I just. Go go go. I. I work. I am. I am working very hard, very hard because I need to pay my bills. Aha! I need. <laughs> oh, to pay then. My bills. Uh, that's. I am working very hard because I need to pay my bills. Okay. Oh. Now, my girlfriend closed the door and the window. Because it's raining and yeah. I can't hear you. So this is a little bit more uh, structured because it has more information. So can we say I can hear you since it's raining? Can we say that? I think so. Uh, raining? Yes, we can. Window? Because Yeah, we can. Because because and since can. we can use it both. Yes. Now... Mm -hmm. Is there any question about this? No. Are you sure? Very yeah. sure. Okay. So you're going to show me how, how sure you are. <laughs> okay. We're going to go to the groups, guys. You're going to have four minutes to explain, give reasons about things in your life. I am fat because I eat a lot. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Gotcha. I'm opening the rooms right now. Just a second. Right now. Go ahead. There we go. Accept the invite, please. about the topic in the yes. uh, because on science yes because in science only uh, because 
I eat a lot of vegetable because I want to be healthy. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, Irene. Can you hear me, Irene? Irene? Yes, I, yes, I can. It's your tongue. All right. Uh, are you ready uh, for the start? Yes, I'm ready. All right. Let's Give go me ahead. an example. Okay. Oh, because of uh, time. I I am work very hard because I I have very very well. Um, I have uh, many dreams in my life with my family. Okay, nice. I like okay. it. I, I like the idea. I like the use of because. Um, you can say though, I am working very hard. I am working very hard, okay? Because my family and I have a lot of dreams. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Because my family and I have a lot of dreams. Okay. Okay, very good. All right, give a few more examples before we go back to the main room. All right. I usually go to the beach because I like to have fun with my friends and my parents. It's your turn. Okay. Um, All right, thank you very much for coming back. Good. Now, well, I just have one group. Now I have more. So, Arturo, would you mind giving me an example? Oh, sorry. Don't worry. Yes. Yes. Uh, I couldn't, I couldn't. I couldn't assist yesterday at the class because really I forget the class, the hour. Oh man, okay. Sorry, me, but <laughs> don't worry. I like your honesty. I, I couldn't assist uh, the class yesterday because I, I, I couldn't I couldn't hear you. What do you say? <laughs> Go ahead, repeat. Please. He couldn't hear you. Uh, uh, for me. Could you please repeat? Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, I couldn't sit to the class yesterday because I forget the class. Ah, <laughs> oh, <sorry>. no, that's <laughs> uh, honest. <laughs> yeah, it is what it is, man. I uh, was too I honest. I, I, yeah. I, I went to my uh, watching TV with my family and I forget the hours and. Shame on you, on Arturo. Nice, Arturo. I mean, not nice because you didn't. Assist to class your yesterday. honesty is but nice. I like your honesty. Just be careful where you use your honesty. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah. One more volunteer with this structure. This structure. Me, Douglas. Go ahead, Douglas. I usually go to the beach because I love having fun with my friends. There you go. I usually go to the beach, complete sentence, because... I like to have fun with my friends. Complete sentence. Good job. Now let's go ahead and move to any questions for this structure? No. Not sure. No? All sure. right, good. Mm -hmm. Asked, what the word is clear. clear. Like it. All right, let me look for the other one then. So because I'm seeing our synonyms, except that since it's a little bit more formal. And it's always followed by Sentence, because, sentence.
remember that it can go at the beginning or at the end. But here, um, because and do to. Okay, the examples are going to be pretty much the same. The difference is that here you do not need a full sentence. What you need is a noun. Okay, so for example, here. I I used to go to Los Planes because of pupusas. Right? I I am awake because of the class. Because Otherwise the class. I would be sleeping. Would be so you have a sentence because of or due to and you need a noun. Someone, no. someone was talking about COVID nineteen. Remember that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was something like we are under quarantine because of COVID-19. Mm -hmm. We are under quarantine because of COVID-19. Yes. Okay, I'm going to send something right here. Give me a second. Uh, sentence plus because plus sentence. This is the structure. And now we are going to work with it. Sentence plus do to because of plus noun. So guys, we are under quarantine because of COVID-19. Mm -hmm. Would you mind giving me an example? I couldn't go out yesterday because of the rain. Nice. I couldn't go out yesterday because of the rain. Good example. Give me another one, please. I mm -hmm. I, um, I used the umbrella because it's raining right now. Ah, okay, yes, that's good. But let's look at the look at the difference here. I use an umbrella. An umbrella. Because because it's raining. It's raining. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. si vamos a ocupar because le ponemos yeah. otra oración completa. Rain. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or I use an umbrella. Because of because the rain. Because of the rain. Uh -huh. So, because, guys, va en un sándwich entre dos oraciones, tiene que ir oraciones completas. Mm -hmm. Y el do to, o el because of, solo le vamos a poner un noun. I am angry because of my brother. Estoy enojado por mi hermano. O sea, que él hizo algo para enojarme. Is this one clear? Or yeah. not too much? Mm, yeah. Hmm, I don't hear you convinced. <laughs> I didn't watch TV in the morning uh -huh. because of the power cut. Okay, I didn't watch, muy bien, TV in the morning because of a power outage. The power outage. All right. Power outage is when no electricity. Se me olvidó el punto, el period. Good, good example, Douglas. One more, guys, please. I was angry two minutes ago because my phone wouldn't allow me to check in. Yes, but that's with because. because I was okay. angry because my phone subject didn't allow me, auxiliary verb. So that's a good use of because. Let's try not to com to confuse them. That's what I'm trying to do. Good job, Thomas. That's good, but the previous structure. And Ada? Um, I could uh, healthy food because I need to be healthy. Okay. Okay. Good example, too. Vamos a hacer una pausa y regresamos, guys. El because, acordémonos, vamos a hacer unos ejercicios ahorita. Miren cómo así de sencillo lo voy a buscar en línea. Y ustedes ven lo que yo estoy buscando. Because 
versus because ahí está y hasta los ejercicios me tira ya because or because of let's make sure that we cover this right now the first oh no no the first one first option it's gonna load someday bye guys so let's go ahead and analyze this thing I came here I want to talk to you. Are these awesome. full sentences? I want to talk to you. Are two complete sentences. Mm -hmm. Two complete sentences. So we are going to use because. because. Sorry, because. I'm late. Because. I'm late. Because of. Be because of. Because of the traffic. Uh, because of the traffic. It's, it's, a, it's a known of phrase. The it's a, this is a noun. El tráfico. Uh -huh. No. She got the best grades. She had worked hard. Because. 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 because exactly. Because. We have she had worked hard. Sentences. She had worked hard. hard. Mm -hmm. Paul had a terrible Paul accident. Because. because he was driving fast. Because, 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 because he was driving fast. Subject. He was driving fast. Auxiliary and verb. Complement. Auxiliary. This is a complete uh, sentence. sentence. He couldn't run because, because he's, he's all age. age. Because of his old age. Because of. Age. Because because of. Age. Uh -huh. Because of. Aquí, because his of. old age. Su edad his old age. Oh. Todo eso es un noun. Mm -hmm. Ahí no hay verbo ni complemento. Good. Leila left early. Because she was because late. Was because tired. she was tired. I'm sorry. Because she was tired. Okay. She was Again, tired. we have a complete sentence and we have a complete sentence here. The, the meeting, meeting was postponed. 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 Sorry. Because of because the weather. Because because, because of the bad weather. Uh -huh. The bad because weather. The bad weather. weather. Weather or weather. Weather. Mm -hmm. Weather. Exactly. Teacher. Weather. Mm -hmm. Weather. How do you pronounce postpone? The meeting was postponed. Postpone. 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 Because of the weather, oh, because of the bad weather. Here. Okay. They, they were, were looking, looking let me, for a Japanese were, restaurant. Restaurant. Because of they went. Because no, they went. Because, sorry. Because they, they went, went to, to, eat, to eat sushi, sushi for dinner. They mm -hmm. want to eat because, because. 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 subject verb Dinner. complement is subject plus verb, when compared those plus are nice. Yes. Their new product didn't sell well because of because of because of uh -huh. it's because poor quality. quality. It's poor quality. Mm -hmm. because I because couldn't of. attend the meeting. I couldn't attend the meeting because, because I was very ill. Because, 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 of. because, 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 because I was very ill. Mm -hmm. I couldn't attend because. the meeting. Because what the meaning of ill, teacher? Ill. What the meaning of ill? Ill is a synonym sick. Sick. Uh -huh. It's a synonym, of, synonym of sick. All right. Is there so, a difference or is it the because. same? Because. Same thing. <laughs> Same. Okay. Excuse I me, I'm sorry to hear you, teacher. Uh, what the meaning of ill? Sick. Sick? Sick. Mm -hmm. yeah. Ah, okay, okay. All right, so I guess that with this, it's a little bit clearer, right? If you have two sentences, you use because in the middle. If you have a noun, you use because of. Now, yep. if you want to practice this structure, because this is a common mistake people make when learning, and it's natural that you're confused because it is very similar. So do what I did, guys. If you ever, um, if you don't know how to do something, you can YouTube it. If you want to know about it, you can ask me. I don't have videos of these yet because I haven't had the time to record a new one. But uh, be proactive with this one. It's going to help you. Be curious. All right? Yeah. You do a verb. 
Thank you for helping us with that exercise. No, of course, of course. If I detect that something is not clear, then I'm going to help you. And then you have to memorize that. What is what is the friend of because? Because of? Because, because and since. Because of. Because since, of. yeah. Because since, of. yeah. Uh -huh. since. What is the friend because of because of? Because. You use seen when the reason is negative. Oh, no, the, every, everywhere, every state. Now, remember, because and since are friends. They mean the same, but since is more fancy, it's more formal. Yeah, it's more fancy, more formal, yeah. Mm -hmm, exactly. Now, do to and because of are real friends too. Do to is a little bit more negative than because of. Do to is negative, yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Not, not all the time. Sentence is negative. Uh -huh. Not Do all two. the time. By not all the time. Do okay. to because of son cheros. Imagínense que son los nombres de los cheros. Because of Twins. es bien al suave. Do to es un poquito más negativo. Hey, vamos a, a la pupusera de la paciencia. Muchos se tardan, bo. Vamos a no sé dónde. Es que hay uno. Do to es un poquito más negativo que el otro. Uh -huh. All right. All right. Okay. So, vayan haciendo las parejas. Because and since. Because, más suave. Since, un poquito más picky. Ahí anda con ropa un poquito. Se viste mejor. Uh -huh. Al otro le vale chonga. Okay. Okay. And then we have more sophisticated. That's right. And do to for negative, for example. It has a more negative meaning, but it's not necessarily something negative. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. It's famous for its music. For is like por. Es famoso por su música. So normally we are going to use a noun or a noun phrase. Okay. I'm happy for you. Estoy feliz por ti, no? I'm happy for you. I'm happy for you. Right? I came for you. Yo vine por ti. So, this is... The grammar structure is like, it's similar to the previous one. It is because similar of. to the right. previous one. Uh -huh. But instead of similar using to because, because of, you use for. Mm -hmm. ah, yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. I can hear you for the rain. Uh-huh, exactly. I can hear you for ah, the rain. That's yeah. the point. Good, good example. I liked it. Is it for me? You get it. Got it, right? Piece of cake. And yeah, then, a piece of cake. Then we have the last one. The reason. the reason why or the reason that. The same thing. Estos dos son gemelos. These are twins. It's the same thing. The reason yeah, that the reason. Julie goes there is to have fun. To have the reason fun. that I'm a teacher is because I love it. Ahí le metí yo because. Okay. Um, the reason that, for, for los verbos, the reason that my mom um, eats vegetables is to lose weight. The reason why um, I am here 